Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's uh, oh, it's ten o'clock in the morning. Well, what do you know? All right. As promised, and there's a lot of it. Look at all this that came in that uh, um, bag, sealed bag. Ooh. Uh, let's turn on the water. There we go. Let me get my filters. There will be no grinding today. You can tell the damn thing's ground enough. Oh, I need to uh, put this back together to the best of my ability. Not quite. Almost. Yeah, let's see. Uh, and you're supposed to tie a nice little bow in the front. And right. How did I? You just do it this way, right? Oh shoot! How do you tie a bow? Can't do it in that direction. I gotta do it in this direction. There we go. Yeah, gorgeous. That's not going to work. What a beautiful little bow! <laughs> Criminally. <laughs> oh, no, nah. no. Nah. I just need to pull it tight and tie a knot in it. It is fiddly. And I can see why a lot of some people don't like this kind of uh, holder. I mean, it keeps everything nice and cool. But you got, you got this. All of this extra leather that you got to fiddle with. And uh, you gotta try to keep them even. And then... I mean, it seems like it should, maybe that should go in the back. That's the problem though, is because there's the fronts right there. And then if you grab it by the back with that ball there, it's very awkward, which I don't think is the point of the whole thing. So you kind of put the ball here in the front, kind of in the throat of the pouring thing here, spout, and then tie it off to the best of your ability. and then. And then live with the result. It came looking nice, and then I had to clean it, and then I'm like, well, oh well. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, do our normal prep here. Um, so this is Brazilian. I'll flash a picture of it up here. Um, we were at a Brazilian steak place. It wasn't just like a steakhouse where they walk around with the big things of meat, and here's chicken, here's beef, here's another form of beef, here's a fifth form of beef that you didn't know existed and you probably don't want because that's not what you're into. Um, so I don't even know why I'm warming this up to be honest with you. This is, um, like I said yesterday, this is this shit fuel. <laughs> it just is. Um, okay. Oh yes. And I wanted to do the paper in the carafe. Um, it will, I mean, this, if you're not prepared for it, um, and I wasn't the first time I tasted this, I, I was, it was blown away by how horribly bitter, um, and that's what happens when coffee is roasted a lot, um, uh, or I guess it also depends on where the coffee comes from, that's another big, uh, thing, coffee comes from, uh, Nicaragua or uh, uh, Brazil or um, different co coffees grown in different climates uh, give you different flavor uh, things. Um, uh, flavor thing. I I don't know. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get that up to a real real temperature here. I'm gonna try not to. S oh wow, that was unintentional. You're supposed to press this down all the way so all of the air comes out of these holes here and then it keeps a fre nice fresh tight seal um, yeah, uh, sure okay oh god and I gotta remember uh, <laughs> how much do I put in here um, and do I have a measuring cup I don't want to use a measuring spoon okay, let's, so this is a fourth of a cup let's see what one fourth of a cup looks like. Now see, look how finely ground this is. This is just um, 
very finely ground. Um, it's beautiful, but if you had, uh, I'm 46 years old. If you had a grandfather, if you were lucky enough uh, to have a, a grandfather that you loved growing up, um, the uh, my prevailing my present my feeling towards this, all of those things, um, is that this is your grandfather's coffee. And what I mean by that is it's um, 60s, 70s, something that survived throughout the 60s and 70s into the 80s and early 90s um, that your grandfather probably drank um, since World War II um, or at the very least the, uh, the uh, Korean uh, War. Um, so it's just coffee. There's no flavor. There's no uh, anything. It's just... Uh, we've roasted the hell out of this. We've ground it down to its sm uh, its smallest possible grind that we are capable of doing. It's been aged for a minute, and then we have vacuum sealed it. Um, and ooh, two hundred, very good. So, um, it is uh, the darkest coffee I have ever experienced since. Uh, my grandfather's uh, coffee back in the day and that's both grandfathers. I don't know if granddad West did coffee. I know he did beer. <laughs> I know he did a lot of beer. He loved beer. He was a beer person. I remember going back in the day to the recycling place that used to be oh God what is that street there? Uh, there's just, as, it's, as you go into Marietta, um, before you get to Marietta College, there used to be a, a, there's a gas station on one side, and on the other side, there used to be a point um, where, like, uh, an intersection, it was a weird intersection because it was a T, but there was also another little part coming off of the T, I don't know, because it kind of went like this, and then something came up here, but then you had another road that kind of came up here, and then it kind of went up in here, and then you could, it is weird. Um, if you're from Marietta, you know where I'm talking about. It's like, I think Pike Street, uh, Route 7, right there, um, where uh, the Food for Less used to be. I don't think it's a Food for Less anymore. Look at that. Look at that bed. And then look, look at what we started with. Look at what we've started. Look how dark that is. And that's just a little bit at the bottom. That's just a little bit at the bottom. And you can't, you can't see through the bottom of that. And we're going to fill this sucker up. Um, and I'm going to try to keep the bed nice and even. I'm going to agitate it a little bit around the sides. Um, we're going to try to do this like a normal cup. Um, it may take a little bit longer because as you saw, the grinds are very fine. Um, it's a little bit... It's weird to say it's a little bit drier. But then again, it's older. Um, it's an older coffee because I'm sure it's been sitting in, in that um, um, place that we bought it from for a while. Um, and it can do that. These coffees are vacuum sealed. Uh, so they have a nice long shelf life to them, um, which is great because, you know, look at that, like, like, like a little piece, a little piece just opened up. I don't know if you saw that or not, um, but it was like, it was like, it was like holding, holding, holding. And then suddenly the coffee broke through the middle and now it's dripping again. And it stopped. Where the hell was I talking about? Oh yeah, granddad. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there used to be a can uh, a recycling, a can recycling place um, right there. And um, I, we would take, he would throw all of his empty beer cans, and there were a lot of empty beer cans up until he passed away in like 1991, I think. But uh, just uh, cans in like three large trash can bags. Uh, and we would, and we would uh, take them in the, the old Ford pickup truck and he'd get his money for those cans and uh, I don't even know how much it would have been at that point such a long time ago um, but yeah <laughs> yeah so but anyway this just smells like something your grandfather would have drunk a long time ago <laughs> so reseed it here so there was a little suction and if you smell it's just the ugh. 
it's like it's like when you walk into if you have an office where people were i mean and this is this might be a 90s trope or a 2000s trope because nowadays everybody's got those um got got office keurigs um but when there was drip coffee back in the day this smells like that drip coffee except times 50. um just it's just such a strong aroma and um uh like i said i'll flash the 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 um bag and then i used google translate on the rear of the bag um for the instructions i'll flash that up on the screen too um but it's wild it's absolutely wild um how this smells and the taste i had to douse it with milk it, this is it's the first time I've had to do that in a long time where I've had to douse uh, put milk in the damn thing in order to drink the cup <laughs> oh speaking of cup what do we got today Alice uh, we'll use this oh you know what we'll use this small festive cup ho 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 why not it's February there are people out there still that have their Christmas lights up and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Go team. I will probably do. I'm probably not gonna, oof. Oh. I'm, there's about 20 ounces of water in there. I don't know where we're sitting at right now. Boy, is that hot. But we will keep the channel clear. Do a little bit of an adjustment. Um, this is not a coffee. If you remember the word extraction, you you want to um, extract enough coffee out of the grinds in order to maximize the the flavor. Those are a lot of words that sound like buds words, but they're they're actual um, actual words that apply to coffee. Um, you, when when you add water, uh, the the grinds absorb the water to the point where they can't hold anymore and then they release the water and to absorb more water and that's extracting the flavor of the coffee out and then what you're getting down here is the extraction um, and that's why you want to keep a nice level bed so you can keep an even extraction throughout the entire cup of coffee it's it's basically meant to maximize the amount of coffee um, coffee houses get out of uh, each puck people that have YouTube coffee channels um, they use bottled, filtered, um, distilled water. Um, so there's a cost to their water other than the normal uh, cost that comes out of the sink um, or out of the, the refrigerator. Uh, so there's an additional cost. So they're trying, and then the coffee itself cost. So they're trying to get the most out of what is a small investment in a cup of coffee each morning. And that's that's the game. Um, people have these analyzers where you can squirt a, a couple drops of coffee into the middle of it, and it'll tell you how much caffeine is in the cup of, is in the bottle based on the the drops that you pulled out of the the, the carafe. Um, and it's just and they do that so I don't have to. <laughs> so that's hey, happy about that. That's wonderful. Um, just a little bit more. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I know exactly what's going to happen. My eyes are going to go fuzzy and um, I'm probably gonna lose vision in my left eye. So, uh, I mean, all right, I think. Oh. Part of me wants to yank this out of here. Part of me is like, no, wait, we're not done yet. And it's like, and the rest of me is like, we're done. <laughs> Thank you. Whew. Oh, and then you just, it, I don't want to say something ne it's too so negative, it's repulsive. It, it kind of smells like rubber. Um, and that is not, uh, that is not hyperbole. Um, it really smells like rubber um, to a point. And then um, you get the coffee smell. And I mean, just look how dark that is. I mean, you can normally, you can like see through it. And there's, there is a window back there. And you can't, you can't see it. You can't see the window. How, how dark is that? I mean, that's just, whew. And then, and then look at the bottom of this cup. And then watch the bottom of the cup completely disappear. 
and be replaced by this dark void of hate and anger and um, um, repressed alcoholism. You know, <laughs> I mean, wow. All right, so we're going to go in. Um, right, stop talking about it. Wow, I'm so bitter. Oh, God. Wow. No, uh, no sweetness, no, um, it's just, it's just bitter. It's just a bitter cup of coffee. It is wake up juice. It is, um, you no longer want to sleep now, uh, coffee. Um, and I mean, of course I'm going to drink it. I mean, I made it, but wow. Oh, that is, that is harsh. Whoo! I mean, look at that. And I've used up, you know, look at how much, look how dark it still is down there. I mean, that's, 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 that's just, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. That's, Ooh. Oh, good morning. <laughs> no rant today. Just, just, uh, just me being silly. Um, <laughs> I can't always be a rant. Shouldn't always be a rant. Sometimes, sometimes you, you want to start the day and make it good and not think about bad things. Uh, I think we did that today. It sounds like a triumph. Excellent. I mean, just look look at the look at the foam on the top. This cup is so angry; it's turning the foam black. Oh, just this is hate coffee. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it is it is incredibly bitter and um, makes you wince every time you take a drink. But it is it's not. It's. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've had. Cure eggs are the worst thing I've had. This, this is effort. S slight effort. All right. Thanks for watching this morning. I hope you have a good day and we'll, we'll see you later.